Hey guys, Justin here, and the windscreen, the first mod has come in, and I'm super stoked to get it installed. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna do an unboxing of it so you can see the unboxing process. There wasn't a ton of packaging. This was like, oh, it was in a big box, and then it was surrounded by all the uh, the bubble wrap, and it looked like it had been kicked. So I'm glad this was in good condition and didn't look like it had any damage. So let's go ahead and jump right in. You might have noticed in the unboxing that I was pointing out the uh, tape on the box. The tape was um, pretty old. It was like yellow. It didn't have any sticky or tackiness to it. I'd estimate two, three, four years maybe. Maybe less if it was sitting somewhere hot. So I don't know how long this uh, windscreen's been sitting in the uh, factory. I'm assuming, or warehouse, whatever. I'm assuming if it's a design for the 2014-15 model year, it could have been sitting in a warehouse somewhere for five years. So I thought, just thought, thought that was interesting. Okay, we have the instructions. So, oh yeah, all the instructions and stuff and everything is in, I'm assuming it looks like it's Spanish, but it also could have been French. No clue, okay. So I have to pull all four out. Where am I? All four out, install their washers. And I'm assuming they have out there and then they have longer uh mine's all put together already i don't know if you saw that in the unboxing so it's not a the mounting harness is not separate which it probably should have been to make my life easier for reference this is a six on the metric scale of uh, Allen keys, whatever you want to call them. To make maneuvering this easier, go ahead and take these off as long as they have the right uh, Allen key for it. I am glad that I decided to take this apart because I realized that I can use, I can do one side at a time and prevent me from uh, having to take my handlebars off, you could say. So let me jump over, is that the right side? Left side. L. Okay, back to construction. Okay, so I have my washer, or my uh, spacers in. This goes this 
Under clutch cable, correct. Yes, under clutch cable, like that. Diagram has this running under the clip for the brake line. Hydraulic brake line, so this goes up and under. Alright, so under the brake line, but over this. Which is the assuming controls. Yeah, so I don't know if it was supposed to come pre-assembled, but mine was pre-assembled. The whole headlight section was pre-assembled, so I don't have to put the little rubber grommets in, and I don't have to assemble the washers and all that stuff. Obviously, I just have to put it back on now that I took it off, but I wonder if it was a return or something like that. I don't know if you can see it. This was in my bag and I just now saw it. No clue what this is. I don't even know where this would go. This is going back in the bag. Yeah, I give you a walk around. From some of the reviews I saw, there's a complete like airway from top to bottom, and that was supposedly to help channel the air around your head so it goes down to your chest a little more and then above your head, so up and over. It feels pretty solid. It looks OEM. The way they uh, made it mesh with the front, I think they did a great job. Looks good. Give you a cockpit view. Now, car. It's about as good as it gets. Okay, I have to crunch down here because I'm running out of time and I don't feel like moving my camera. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed getting this whole thing put on. More mods are coming, like I said. We got clutch and brake levers. Gonna do uh, yeah, hand guards for our winter riding, and then I got front brakes. Then we'll see where it goes. I, um, yeah.
you have not liked, like the video, have not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, leave your thoughts. I appreciate your time. Take it easy, guys.